Independent and dependent variables. Well, what's the difference between a dependent and an independent variable? Well, it's just pretty easy. If you have an equation with two variables, so we have an equation here with two variables. We have y and we have x. The value of y depends on the value of x. So this is your dependent variable because it depends what our value of x is. For example, if I give x a value of 0, so I'm going to replace x with 0. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6. So if the value of x is 0, the value of y will be 6. Let's do another input for x. Now this, and that's another way you can remember the independent variable is your input. So for our input, let's use 2. Let's replace um, the x with 2. So 3 times 2 plus 6, that'd be 6 plus 6 is 12. So if x is 3, if the value of x is 3, then the value of y will be 12. Let's do another one. We'll do one more. Let's do, um, let's give x a value of 6. So our input is going to be 6. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 6 is 24. So if x is 6, the dependent variable y will be 24. Let's look at another equation. So here's another equation. We have two variables. Again, we have y and x. They don't have to be y and x. Um, you could use any letters you wanted. Let's, um, let's give x a value of 4. So 2 times 4, we're going to give x a value of 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So the value of y would be 6. So what's the value of y? It depends. It depends what x is. So let's do an input of 10. So I'm going to replace x with 10. 2 times 10 is 20, and 20 minus 2 is 18, then the value of y would be 18. We'll just do one more. So what's the value of y? It depends. It depends what x is. So let's give x a value of 5. So I'm going to replace x with 5. That's going to be our input. So 2 times 5 is 10, minus 2 is 8. So if I have an input of 5, I'll have an output of 8. Okay, let's look at a couple of real-life examples. Oh, let's do this first. So I'm going to circle, here's a lot of different equations. I'm going to circle all the dependent variables in red. So in our first example here, what's the value of D? Well, it really depends on what the value of R is. In this next example, what's the value of Q? Well, it really depends what A is. What's the value of d in this example? The dependent variable would be d because it depends what r is. And these would also be dependent variables because they all depend on what the independent variable is. So why don't I circle all the independent variables in these equations? So over here, this would be your independent variable. This would be your independent variable. r would be your independent variable. M would be your independent variable, E and T. Okay, so let's look at just a couple of real-life examples here. Mr. Smith travels 25 miles per hour in his boat. To determine how far he travels, he uses the equation D equals 25H, where D represents the total distance in miles, and H is the number of hours he travels in his boat. So, what is the independent variable? Well, the independent variable would be h, and the dependent variable would be d. Because in that example, how far does Mr. Smith travel? Well, it depends. It depends on how many hours he's in his boat. In the next example, there are four energy efficient light bulbs in each pack. So we have these packs, and inside there are four light bulbs. The equation B equals 4P 
shows how many light bulbs in all B are in P number of packs of light bulbs. So I'm going to do the dependent variable um, in this equation right here first. So how many light bulbs do you have? Well, we don't know. It depends. It depends how many packs of light bulbs you have. So the dependent variable is B, and the independent variable would be P. So that's all there is to independent and dependent variables.